Let's go ahead and remove this plastic trim panel right here. To do this, I'm going to use a plastic trim tool and I'm going to carefully try to pry this away from the door panel. There we are. Now I'm going to carefully bend this a little bit and we can start disconnecting the wiring. All right, I'm just going to use a pocket screwdriver. I'll come right in between this area here. All right, we've got that off of there. Just inspect it. Make sure you don't see any funny colors. If you do, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. Let's set this aside and do the same to the others. Awesome. Just take a quick note of the exact order that these connectors are in. You want to make sure that it rematches up back with the switches when we put it all back together. Now I'm just going to take these wires. Let's go ahead and push them right in there. And now we're going to move along to removing some Phillips head screws. You're going to find one Phillips head screw right here. And then the other one's going to be located up inside the door handle. Remove the pair. Once you have both those screws out of there, let's continue on with our plastic trim tool and we're going to start removing the door panel from the door itself. Just got some little push clips under there. All right, now we can carefully lift this up. All right, remove the panel. Now to remove this, we're going to go ahead and drill out all six of the rivets that you can see here. Essentially, once you just cut off the heads of them, you should be able to pull this right out of there and knock the rest of the rivet through. Now there's going to be a couple rods on the back of this. There should be one for the door lock itself that you can just kind of grab onto, pop it right out of there. Here we are. You can see that rod. There's the rod that went right on the back right here of the lock itself. The other rod's going to be a little bit harder to get to. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a little tug. And now we can see where the handle rod is. This one's a little bit different. It has a little lock on it. Let's use our flathead screwdriver. I'm going to carefully lift up on this little piton right there. And that'll unlock it, and then I can slide it. Okay. Once the lock is slid, we can remove the rod. Now that that's out of there, you have a nice clear view of what's going on. We had the rod that went right straight down through here, and it was locked in. To remove it, I just went ahead and I got underneath this area, unlocked it, and then I slid the lock out of the way. After that, pop the rod up and out of there. And there it is, friends. Now it's time to get our handle assembly in there. Let's take a look at the back side. We've got an area where one of our rods needs to go into. That's for the locking mechanism. And then we also have the one for the handle right over here. When you go to put this in, you're gonna see exactly where they need to line up. Go ahead and take the one for the handle itself and slide that one down and in. And then the one for the locking mechanism, that one's gonna come from the outer portion of the door facing towards me. I'm gonna press it right in there. All right. I've got that one latched in. Now I can just go ahead and work this one. Okay. I've got them both latched in there. Make sure that the rod isn't sticking on the door, like right along here. I just want to make sure that fits in. Before we go ahead and put everything the rest of the way back together, let's just test to make sure things are functioning properly. The easiest way to do that is to just go ahead and come to your latch right here. I'm going to press this in. That essentially means that the door would be shut. That's what the car is going to think that's happening. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab onto that handle, release it while I pull and it should release just like this. Now let's go ahead and lock the door. Let's do it again. We shut the door. The striker's holding it in there. It's holding it nice and tight. Let's go ahead and do this. It's not releasing. Check the inside door handle. Still not releasing. Unlock the door. And let's test it again. I'm going to try the inside door handle. That works. Outside. Perfect. All right, before we go ahead and rivet this in, let's take our wiring. We're going to run this from the back. The gray is going to be closest to the lock switch here. And then we're going to go white in the center, and then we'll do black along the end. Just like this. 
All the wires should fit right up inside this groove right along here. You want to make sure you're not putting any pinch on them. Line up all of your holes, start in the rivets. There's one. Now just do the same to the rest. Now it's going to be time to get our door panel back on. Pay attention to the back side. You're going to have a whole bunch of these press clips. They're going to want to fit directly into the slots on the door where they belong. Let's take this. We're going to start up nice and high, up above this ridge right here, and then bring it down. I'm going to put this right up and over. Press it in. Slide it down as far as it can go. Now we're just going to take a peek along inside here. And you can see my little push clip, and I can also see my hole. I'm just going to go ahead and line that up. Once it feels as though they're all lined up, give them a loving bonk. Next, we're going to put in our two mounting screws. There's one right up in here, and then, of course, there's one in the handle. Insert them both. Now let's get our trim piece on there. Pay attention to the back side. You have some more of those push clips. You're also going to have the areas that your wiring needs to connect into. You want the gray going into the gray, white into white, and black, of course, into black. Line this up. Press it in, listen for a click, give it a nice wiggle. You want to make sure all these are nice and secure. Click, tug, click, tug, perfect. Now along the back side of this, or on this portion right here, you kind of have a little area that's going to need to slide in and under on the inside there. Once that's into its position, we can gently slide all the rest of this in. Couple loving bonks, make sure it's secure. Let's give it one last test. Perfect.